I did not expect for it to be this oh. big. Today's the catch on day because we're running out of time. Cats out of the bag. Here at Copilot, we're getting deeper and deeper into virtual production. And we've done versions of virtual before. TV screens, miniatures, etc., etc. But we want more and have big goals like shooting on full LED volume with a full production crew, tons of screens, endless potential. And this week, we got a little taste of that. Two words, LED volume. Hold on, I'll let you see what I'm talking about. Guys, we're here on the Pinewood Studios block here in Toronto talking about a massive LED volume inside of the stage consuming as much knowledge as we possibly can and we've brought our own unreal project that we're going to be shooting inside of this studio let's go So why are we at Pinewood? Well, we were lucky enough to spend the week at CERT, a training center for virtual production. Their studio also happens to be the only permanent residence on the Pinewood block. The first two days at CERT were basically getting a lay of the land and getting our Unreal project loaded at the brain bar and running on the LED volume. For someone like me who's from film, not virtual, I was in over my head, but for the team, they were thriving. What I was most excited for was the gear. Here is a quick overview. LED volume. Ari Alexa, very nice. 77 customizable, all removable LED tiles. Ari Sky Panel, I love it. Big green screen, but uh, we all know that this is outdated. The Brain Bar. Hi Tamara. Hmm. Most importantly, the lounge. And after we were comfortable with the space, we had some work to do because after all, we were here to shoot a short film. I wonder if it makes sense for her to kind of like look at it, have the hold, and then kind of like, almost like scared the look, and then, then step that way instead of doing a whole like this. Storyboarding over there, we've been, we've been doing this for a while. It's a lot different when you can only shoot one way into an LED screen. Our minds are just normal production. This is fun. <laughs> Real quick, we'd like to shout out these friends for helping us on this virtual project. All right, back to the video. And now the fun part. We moved on to building the stage and setting up the scene. So why the stage? <laughs> Let's just think back to our last virtual production video. We gotta hide the seam. So what we're doing here is we're lifting the stage above the height of the bottom of the seam so that when we shoot on it, everything's elevated and we have a way to hide the virtual screen. One of the most essential parts of virtual production is hiding that screen, which involves props from Ikea in our case, and a bunch of things to put in front of the camera to hide the fact that we're shooting on virtual. This project was two years in the making. Copilot's been waiting to get on a real LED volume for a long time. 2020 got in the way of that. This is the life of a virtual production person, I guess. <laughs> Day two on the scene and I'm building some Ikea. Got a bed, floor, astroturf. We what? got more. What are we doing more here? Floor. Honestly, we're building a bedroom, we're building a world. We're building Mars, I think. Oh, what's this short film about anyway? Well, I'll give you the elevator pitch. Take your childhood imagination when you're about to go to sleep, when you're about to dream, and all of the crazy places that took yourself. Now, now turn that into a real cinematic visual, and that's our idea. Stay till the end to see a proper preview. Well, this is a prop that our character in the scene is gonna be using, but it was refracting the light like too well. You could see the LEDs, so we're trying to, we're trying to like, scuff it up a little bit so that we give it some haze, some some texture to the cube. This is movie spray. So basically it's like dirt spray. So we're gonna put it on here. Cause in our in our short, our character is trying to find this or she finds this on the ground and it just looks a bit too perfect for what we need. Oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm screwed up. Oh, there we go. And with props perfected, the scene set, we were ready to start shooting. Production day three, shoot day one of three. What are we doing right now? We're gonna pick up a lens, a secret lens. A secret special lens that I've wanted to hold for years. We are opening a Cook 32 millimeter anamorphic cinema lens. My dream. Oh my gosh. Damn. That is massive. 
Oh. I did not expect for it to be this oh big. Oh my. Look at this. Look at this lens. So I hate to rain on Austin's parade here, but uh, the 32 millimeter was a little bit too wide. It uh, showed the edge of the screen. We went with the 75. It was still beautiful. All right, everything's set up lighting wise. We have the virtual background running and I think we're about ready to shoot. I'm pumped. So we put in the physical pieces of a bedroom, including the floor. But what about the virtual stuff? Let's talk to our virtual world builder. Months of training. Yeah. Months of work to get that final shot. How do you feel now? I'm mind blown. Like this is just, no pun intended, it's, it's unreal. <laughs> 1A, take seven, co-pilot, marker. Practical effects, bro. As expected, first day shooting on a virtual volume went okay. There were some hiccups and definitely a learning curve, but in the end, we did get through most of what we wanted to shoot. Of course, like every film set, we were a little behind schedule. Today's the catch on day because we're running out of time. We could break down our short film into three different scenes. One, the bedroom scene, which we hope to shoot on the first day, two, the jungle scene, and third, the desert canyon. Now on the first day we got through almost all of the bedroom shots, but with the scene changes and all the props that we needed to bring in, we knew that it would be a stressful time getting through to the jungle on day two. What looks like a mat on a stage looks like this when we've done what we need. Unbelievable. One big strength our team had was a lot of on-set film experience that we could bring to virtual production. And that experience brought us to transition to the jungle scene in time. We finished the jungle scene and on day three, we had one major scene left, the canyon. Now, if you were wondering, how do you shoot a sand scene in virtual production? The answer's right in front of you. And it's easier than you'd think. You literally put sand on the ground and you shoot in that direction. Now, the closer to the camera, the more realistic the props have to look. That's why we have these fake rocks, we have real sand, and then the further back you get, it's out of focus, so it doesn't really matter as much as you see. We've got some canvas down, we've even got that burlap sack acting as a boulder. All I'm gonna say is I was expecting the effort to get a good in-camera look to be harder than it was, because the final frame is breathtaking. We had such a good time with the team at CERT out in Toronto, and all in all, we're really happy with the product that we've come up with. So the moment that you've been waiting for, here's a little preview of our short film, Imagine. Listen, co-pilot, we put a lot of work into this video, so if you appreciate it, if you loved it, if you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I'm Josh, you're watching Copilot, and I'll see you in the next one.